All right, last one. Now, I like this one for a couple of reasons. First of all, everybody sees the top and notices, ooh, crap, factoring again. But guys, have we done anything with the numerator up to this point? No. 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 Unless we have a radical in the numerator, or unless we have a function that the domain is restricted in the numerator, we don't care about the numerator. Well, what function is in our numerator? A quadratic. Quadratics are always continuous. So it's not, a, there's no domain, there's no restrictions here. Right, there's no restrictions there. So the only thing we gotta mess with is the radical. So automatically I see radical, oh, radical, x plus one has to be greater than or equal to zero. Got that. Oh, it's in the denominator, okay. Square root of x plus one is equal to zero. And then you think, God, we have to do that twice? Like you have to solve it and do the inequality? Like that's kind of a lot. Well, we can kind of bypass that because if we look at this, if we want this to be greater than or equal to zero, do we really want x plus one to be zero? Because what if that makes that zero? Then the whole denominator is equal to zero. Wouldn't you guys agree? So if we just take this away and just say we only want it to be for numbers that are larger than zero, then we don't need to worry about the values that make it zero. We can just solve this. That's it. Because we don't care about when it's equal to zero, because that inequality would cover it. So subtract one, subtract one. x has to be greater than negative 1. All right, so we graph that on a number line, negative 1. That's going to be an open circle, x values that are greater than. So that would be from negative 1 to infinity. Just like that. Yes? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes? Why did I take that out? Well, I mean, you could solve for it. Because what I'm saying is, if this was greater than or equal to, if I don't want this to be, like, this is going to tell me what values are going to make it greater than or equal to. So, like, imagine, look it. If I kept this in there, that means x has to be greater than or equal to negative 1. Because what happens when we have negative 1? That makes it 0, right? Makes everything 0. So if I just take this off, that's saying I want all numbers that are larger than negative 1, not equal to. Because if you, so that, that means I don't have to do this work over here. And if you want to do the work squared, you get x plus 1 equals 0. Well, what is x going to equal? Negative 1. Well, we already knew it couldn't equal negative 1, right? So it's just, I'm just trying to reduce some work, that's why. Yes? Good. I don't understand why you raised the iron line iron the and simple. Yeah, because we can't have it equal to 0. Here, could, we, could, it, could you take the square root of 0? Yes, it's fine. You just can't take the square root of 0 when it's in the denominator, because that makes the denominator 0. Oh, so square root of 0 is 0. It's fine here. It's not fine there. So you can do that when it's a number, but when by itself, you can do the split. Yeah, as long as it's not in the denominator. That's right. going to be an equal or greater than a simple line. Yeah, it's just going to be greater than or less than when it's in the